Hello everyone and welcome back to the Green Developer channel. Today I want to share some really simple and straightforward tips that can be used while debugging in Xcode. If you're anything like me when you started learning iOS, it's a part that was mostly overlooked in every class or tutorial you were looking at. When in fact it's one of the tools that you'll probably end up using the most as you develop more complex projects, either on your own or in a professional setting. If you're still a beginner and learning iOS, this video is specifically for you. It's the perfect time for you to get used to the tools and options that are available when debugging on Xcode so that you can and use them throughout your whole learning journey. So let's get right to it with three beginner tips for debugging in Xcode. Number one, and it might sound like the most obvious thing to a lot of you, but it won't necessarily for the more beginner developers watching. You've most likely already learned that you can print out content to a console view within Xcode, which in its own right is great to debug simple stuff and figure out what is happening within your code. If you aren't aware though, when you break somewhere in your code, you can also write simple commands in your console window to get more information or even do small operations on, for example, some data you want to be checking out. For example, let's break right here on this simple function that adds two doubles. In here we could print out manually each of the inputs, but we could also try to see what happens when you run these numbers within the console, or what you get when you cast them to an int, for example. Believe me, when you're working with more complex structures with more nested information, it can be a lifesaver to play around with some data without having to rebuild the whole app or clutter it with every variable you would like to check out with a print statement. Number two, you probably already use breakpoints when debugging, but you can do a lot more with your breakpoints in Xcode than just ask for a break at a specific line. You could search for a bit more details if you would like on the other parameters you see here, but for example, you can add a condition to a breakpoint so it breaks only if that condition is met. Perhaps you realize that there is an error when looping over some data, and after some investigating, you think it actually happens on the last element of an array. You want to check in more details what's happening inside the loop, but you don't want to have to press continue for every element until the one that actually matters to you. You can add a condition so you break only on the last element of your loop, saving a lot of time and getting straight to exactly the scenario you're trying to understand and debug. Number three, when you hit a breakpoint in Xcode, you can look at this watch window to see the state of the variables accessible at this point in the code. What you can do that's even more interesting and a bit less obvious is right click on one of these variables and start watching it. After that's done, every time that variable is reassigned throughout the rest of the execution of your app, you'll break on the line where the assignment is made. When looking at a code base you don't know as well, or when coding something a bit more complicated, it's a lifesaver when you don't necessarily understand where some variables are behaving in a different different way than what you are expecting. Add a watch on it and you'll know exactly in what context and when that variable keeps getting assigned, saving you a lot of time chasing around your code base to find what is happening and where it's happening in the code. So there it is, three very simple and beginner friendly tips on using some of the debug tools that are available for you on Xcode. Make sure to give them a try and let me know how you use them. If you would like more debugging tips like these, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. There's plenty more to talk about, but I wanted to make this video simple and straight to the point to help the newer developers out there. Anyway, I hope this was useful to you all. If it was, you can hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video, and until then, take care.